Our first question is from Andy. Andy starts off brilliantly, okay? What he says is this. Firstly, I'm a big fan of your work. Love the new book. Also found it answers any questions I had from reading the first Easy Strength. See, I like that kind of thing, yeah, where they give me a lot of praise, and I, I appreciate that. Okay, a uh, little humor, ha ha. I'm currently recovering from a full Achilles tendon rupture. Oof, that, I gotta tell you, I, I feel for you, Andy, and I've had a few friends get that injury, uh, one from playing racquetball, and, and, and it was just like a funny movement and pop. It, it sounded like a gun going off. It's, it's a rough one to recover from. And I've been doing some uh, easy kettlebell uh, work to ease me back into lifting. I, I like that idea. My question is, what exercise program would you recommend that focuses on glute hypertrophy and strength? There's a family of exercises that I think are wonderful for glute building. Um, it's interesting with your, with your Achilles tendon injury uh, that, that you want glute strength. And, and I applaud that because I think you're right. Um, back, okay, so back squats, I would prefer high bar, a little more vertical. If you can do front squats, even better. Now, I know you asked, you asked uh, for kettlebells. I'll get there. So the barbell back squat, probably the front squat's better, but we're not going to worry about it today. Um, the hip thrust, the hip thrust with the barbell, I personally, I use uh, those big Dynamax bands, but the hip thrust is amazing. So the squat and the hip thrust, there are a couple of other uh, uh, styles. Like I know for some people, now this this is where the, I, I was about to go into the deadlift family, but the deadlift family does expose the issues with humanity. We're all built just different enough. Some people get great glute work out of the uh, sumo deadlift, wide leg, kind of narrow hands to summarize. I personally get a lot of good, uh, good out of the uh, Romanian deadlift. I also do the deficit deadlift where your feet are up just a little bit and you drop the kettlebell in between. Uh, they're really like doing a, it's almost, if, if done correctly, it can almost be a perfect hinge for some people. Uh, again, your mileage may vary. Now, why did I start with that? Because with the glutes, uh, those big barbell exercises work, uh, hill sprints work, sprinting works. When you get to the kettlebell, the issue is going to be this, is that a lot of people, they, when they start doing the glute work with the kettlebell, they go too light and and they they go too light and they try to, to ramp it up with a lot of volume. So the best exercises for glute development. Now, if you can swing well on paper, and I don't know where this magic piece of paper is, but I think I think the kettlebell swing is an outstanding glute exercise done correctly. I don't know if you can handle or have heavier loads. Uh, I will say this, uh, if you've ever done two-handed swings with the 48 and you really hit them 10 to 15 reps with the, it's the 48 weighs 106 pounds. It, you'll know, <laughs> you'll know your uh, glutes are the next day. Uh, we do have a little program we do at the gym now, the other exercise, and I talk about it way too much on the podcast, is a double kettlebell front squat. I do think if you can make it so that you work in uh, loops, it, it's going to, uh, uh, circuits, it's going to go really well for you. This is a classic circuit in our gym. So you do a set of hip thrusts. Now, whatever, whether you do a barbell, some people say that you, you can put a weight on your belly and do hip thrusts with a kettlebell. I personally don't like that. I've tried it. I don't like it. I have uh, Brett's uh, Brett Contreras's hip thrust machine. I have the big one in my gym, and then I have the L I T E, the light version, over here in my family room because, you know, every family room should have a hip thrust machine. Uh, so you would go to a hard set of hip thrusts, so twenty five or so, pop up, and do the double kettlebell front squat or the goblet squat if that's better for you as soon as you can so that your the glutes are already started to work and now the quads kick in as what we used to call a, you know, kind of a pre-exhaustion. After that, so hip thrust, squat, step over and swing and use the ballistic to kick in. And if you do have a, a, a glute loop or even mini bands, after that pop down, do clamshells to exhaustion. You won't need much load if you do that. So those four exercises back to back to back are my favorite way to work the glutes 
in most gym settings. Uh, hip thrust, 20, 25 good reps. Double kettlebell front squat, goblet squat, eight to 10 good reps. Kettlebell swings, 15, and then um, clamshells to failure. It's a good workout. You really will feel the heat burning. And I'll tell you this from the heart, do just two rounds for the first few times you do it. I, I, I imagine you can build up to three, four or five rounds of this, but I'd rather you focus as always on the quality of those movements rather than the quantity. So can you build glutes with kettlebells? Yes. If you have good kettlebell swing technique, if you're willing to do those, those which I think is one of the roughest exercises uh, for reps, the double kettlebell front squat, it does amazing things for your athletic ability because you just have to be so wound up. Yeah, you know, we call it anaconda strength, but you know, if you know what I'm saying. And of course you got the hip thrust, which is one of the which is an amazing isolation. And then the clamshell at the end is an amazing isolation. As you know, when I travel, if you listen to this, I always bring a glute loop with me so I can do hip thrusts and clamshells when I get to the hotel room to kind of undo the damage of the flight. Uh, great question, Andy. I hope it helps. Uh, if you were to do that circuit and then like half kneeling presses after it, well, or just do my perfect workout because I mean, most of perfect workouts already been said, but that circuit of the four exercises, the hip thrust, the squat, the swing, clamshell, do that two, three, four, five times, and then uh, do half kneeling presses because that's going to stretch uh, stretch that hip flexor too. I mean, that that's not bad. And uh, throw in a couple hangs or pull-ups or whatever, and you got a, you got a solid workout. So thank you, Andy. Good question.